Iron Man has been liquidated. You may think his name is silly, just don't tell him to his face. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Fin Fang Foom. Fin Fang Foom. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1961's Strange Tales number 89, which was expanded upon in 1991's Iron Man number 274. The mighty dragon known as Fin Fang Foom was part of Marvel's early obsession with both monsters and communists. The 1961 story that introduced Fin Fang Foom brought readers to the island of Formosa, just off of China. We have arrived. We meet Chan Liu Chao, a young man of Chinese-American descent who is being castigated by his father over his perceived indifference to the looming threat of a communist takeover. While Chan's brother, Cheng, was a member of the Nationalist Army, Chan was working secretly on his own plan for ending the communist threat. When word came that an invasion was imminent, Chan snuck into mainland China and made his way to a mysterious crypt. Having studied its history, Chan knew that this crypt housed a slumbering dragon named Fin Fang Foom. As the legend went, Foom had been placed into a centuries-long slumber by a magical herb. Chan brought with him another herb which he would use to awaken the dormant monster. Why have you disturbed my rest? Once awake, Chan taunted Fin Fang Foom into chasing him. He led the awakened beast into the outer world where Fin Fang Foom fought nearby soldiers. After destroying a part of the Great Wall of China, the monster resumed his pursuit of Chan. The wily young man lured the dragon to the coast, where soldiers were massing to attack Formosa. He again tricked the monster into defeating the communist enemies. His mission accomplished, Chan returned to the dragon's crypt, with Fin Fang Foom in hot pursuit. Once there, Chan used the slumbering herb to put Fin Fang Foom back to sleep. In his first story, Fin Fang Foom appeared as nothing more than a figure out of Chinese legend and folklore. But the dragon was brought to life numerous times over the next few decades, and his character evolved. Hey, ugly! Over here! In 1991, readers learned that Foom was not the only dragon of his kind, and that he was not originally from Earth. Foom was one of ten aliens who had arrived on Earth thousands of years earlier. Their home planet, Kakaranathara, was peaceful and serene, a world in which violence and war had no place. Unfortunately, these ten dragons found peace kind of boring. They took a spaceship and traveled to worlds in which they could get their thrills from fights and battles. Eventually, they crashed on Earth and had been trapped here ever since. Shapeshifters, many had assumed human identities over the centuries, something that Fin Fang Foom had done himself on occasion. The alien's dragon body has changed appearances somewhat over the years. While he may not be as bulky as he once was, he still packs a powerful punch and can fly at supersonic speeds. Yeah! Fin Fang Foom's name sounds a little campy nowadays, but there's nothing laughable about his power. This is one lizard you don't want to mess with. If you see him coming, let the superheroes handle him. Yeah! Are you a fan of Fin Fang Foom? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.